All right, this is Magnum Moon. This is his very first start at Gulfstream Park. He began his racing career in January 13th. Wins his first race. Looks pretty good. Then they send him to Tampa Bay, an optional claimer. And this one, he was a... Uh, both of his first two races, I believe, he came off the pace, so that's good that he can sort of rate. Um, then his jockey didn't really ask him. He he won that race easily. And they put him in a stakes race in the Rebel Stakes at Oakland Park. And he wins that race. And this is sort of a kind of a wow performance. Because it was his third start, and he's already beating more seasoned horses. This is his last race, the, the Grade 1 Arkansas Derby. He, this is a huge performance. He wins this race pretty easily, too. But he does something that I consider to be very negative, and I'll talk about it uh, next. So I want you to see the the rebel the rebel stakes. This is his stretch on the head on shot. He starts drifting out. Um, then he comes back in, and then he starts drifting out again. So this is a sign of a kind of a young colt. An inexperienced cold that shows some greenness. He does it even worse at his next start. This is uh, the Arkansas Derby. He drifts badly, drifts wide to 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 the right. He's he's heading towards the grandstands there, and that's one thing that I don't like. And ultimately, why I'm going to be against him, I think it shows signs of a of a of a green cold. He's still not very experienced. He's only had four starts in his career, and. So it's either that or or that he's getting tired. I doubt it because he has a great pedigree. But he's either showing some inexperience or he's showing some signs that he's getting tired. Or he doesn't like the whip, which pff, all of them are bad. If he does that in the Kentucky Derby, if he starts drifting, some, some other more, more experienced hills is just going to fly by him. So... That, uh, along with the fact that Todd Pletcher horses usually underperform, he's lightly raised, he's got the curse of Apollo going uh, against him too. He's got several things where, I, where I, and then he's going to be a low-priced horse too. He's going to be second or third choice. So for all those reasons, ultimately, to me, he's going to be a toss.